Yo, peace, peace. Welcome back to Ripping on Two Wheels. So I said in my last video that I didn't like the floorboards on the bike. I needed them to be a little bit bigger or a little bit more spacious. So I got some uh, parts in and I'm gonna install them today and I'm gonna show you what I got. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Let's get these opened up. some uh, floorboard and brake pedal insulation instructions there. Let's take a look at these. I've always loved these. I actually wanted to get these from my street lab, but I never got them. But look at that there. Nice and spacious. Look at that. Made in America, right there at the bottom. And this size in comparison to what is already on there. These things are huge. I mean, I could just lay it here on, on top of the other one. The other one stops like right here. So we'll see how they fit. I'm gonna get them on there and see how they feel. Shout out to Thrash and Supply. So it is recommended to uh, wipe the parts down and clean them. So I'm just gonna use some of this uh, waterless car wash from Chemical Guys right here. Just wipe them down. Get any kind of fingerprints or material, any kind of anything on them that may be on them before I install them. Guys, I, I just can't tell you how much. I mean, these things are nice and sturdy. I mean, I can tell you have a little outer part right here kind of for the shape of the foot in the shoe right here these things are great thrash and supply and this is what i love it's made in america american made parts on my motorcycle on my american motorcycle if you have these you know you know how they feel listen to that i think these are made out of like airplane aluminum or something like that airplane grade aluminum or something like that i don't know i just like the way they look the, the feel of them and i like the fact that they're that they're larger than the factory ones so let's get them installed so i'm taking i already got one off already and you reuse the factory you reuse your factory bolts when you take them out so i'll take this other one off here it should be all good And this here is just the first of many install and upgrades. Yeah, I got the, got the factory one off there. So let's get these other ones installed again. What I was saying about them earlier is you have these you have three slots here where you can place these, place the connectors here. So it's just all about positioning how you want it positioned on there. I think I'm gonna go have mine back just a little bit. Yep, put it back just a little bit. And it does recommend using the Good old lock tight on there. So there's some blue stuff right there. So I'll put those on each one of these screws here. Get them all. Get them all tight. And then it's each. It's four for each clamp mount here. All right, so I got one on there. These are just hand tight.
put some on this one. Get it installed in there. There's that blue stuff right there. Got a little bit in there. Tighten on. So I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Yeah, I'll reposition these mounts. Just move them to this next set of holes here and get it get it put on that way. I don't know if you can see it. Just kind of scratched it up just a little bit right there. Metal to metal. So like I said, I'll move it back one or move it forward one, I should say. Just get a better position on it. Make sure you always test fit everything before you lock it in place. Especially if you have anything with seals on it, because you don't want to break, break that seal a million times. Because then it won't seal anymore. that Loctite on there. That was kind of hard to break a loose, there we go. All right, got the first one installed here. Fold up a little bit. And uh, I'll move to the other side and get the other side done. All right, so far I got the, uh, I got the, thrash and supply floorboards installed on the bike and you can definitely tell the difference from the uh, factories and these replacements and once I changed that shifter peg wasn't able to get those pegs off I think they use a little bit too much Loctite out of the factory but I'm gonna get them off I'm gonna run to Harbor Freight and grab something that I can get them off with and uh, I'll show you the difference of you know sliding that foot back and see I can't even slide it back into my These things are a huge difference. And I can tell that they're real sturdy. I have to change the brake pad out. I took my passenger uh, foot, uh, pegs off. I'm not gonna run those on here. And if you look at the difference, here's the factories here. Huge difference. Rip, 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 ripping on two wheels.